Hey guys, Richard here at the range. Uh, we're making a video. It's the first video in a long time. No, I'm not going to talk like this the entire time. Yes, we do require masks at the range, especially if you're taking a class. So, um, trying to do our part to be responsible. Uh, that's all we're going to say about that. But one of the issues we're dealing with right now at the range in the store is that a lot of people are wanting a, a firearm for home defense. A lot of people are nervous about home defense. So. I guess the question became what would be the best home defense firearm and everybody's got their opinions but I thought I'd run through the different options and, and we would talk about them so handguns are very small very portable and we can if we get a small enough gun we could also conceal carry it so to some extent uh, handguns are a multi-function tool and I, I like the idea that it's not just for home defense I can have a handgun for home and for personal defense just when I'm out and about that being said the two major categories I guess we talk about would be a semi-automatic or a revolver and there's pros and cons to both we talk about these in some of our classes the revolver is very dependable uh, it's durable it's simple Problem solving is easy with a revolver. Basically, if you pull the trigger and nothing happens, you pull the trigger again. Um, because we have a rotating cylinder, we get a fresh chance each time we pull the trigger. So there are a lot of pros to revolvers. Some of the cons, we have limited capacity. They're slower to load and unload. And unless you're Jer Jerry Micklick or Cody Kellner, um, so he's really good with a revolver but they do make sense because they're so simple to use they are easy to load um, but uh, not the best answer for some people because the trigger pull is heavy and we may have uh, problems with that double action trigger pull so pros and cons to every system but we do like revolvers because they're dependable they're durable um, they go they tend to go off when you pull the trigger sim automatics uh, also dependable but the semi-automatic is a more complicated operating system and the big con to a semi-automatic pistol is whenever there's an issue a stoppage with a semi-automatic pistol if we don't know the corrective action the correct corrective action then we can make the problem worse so because it's a more complicated operating system um, the fixes are more complicated than with the revolver that's the big huge detractor to a semi-automatic. That being said, semi-automatics are very easy to, to load and unload. Typically they're higher capacity too. So I have a nice high capacity handgun. Most people can shoot these more accurately than they can revolvers. So we do tend to like semi-automatics. Most people, given a preference, I think, would opt for the semi-automatic. Uh, but there are those, those pros and cons. When we start talking about long guns for home defense, uh, I think everybody, their first thought is going to be of uh, a shotgun. And a, and a pump action shotgun is a very simple weapon um, to learn how to use. Uh, they are long, they are heavy, they do have a lot of kick if we're talking about a 12 gauge. So um, aiming less critical, I worry about saying that on the internet, but you know, we definitely have to be able to aim a handgun if we're talking about at night, then that brings up light issues. Um, Want to be able to identify the target anyway, but shotguns because they do shoot a spreading pattern of shot um, most people think well you have to aim less with a shotgun uh, come take the home defense shotgun class you will learn and see physically what happens to the shot pattern the further out you get if you're going to get a shotgun for home defense that home defense shotgun class is a good idea uh, 12 gauge 20 gauge I think those are good gauges uh, it is a long gun so it's hard to negotiate corners uh, unless you train on how to negotiate corners what's the big huge difference between a handgun and a long gun there's a lot more power in these long guns and when we talk about stopping someone the long gun is going to stop someone I think uh, quicker than a handgun. Handguns have the advantage that they're very portable and short and easy to neg negotiate around indoors but these will absolutely stop a fight uh, and for that reason I tend to like a shotgun at my house as well so 
perfectly viable option. Uh, you're going to have to train with one of these to shoot it properly and to load it properly and to load it under duress. So, but a shotgun is a good choice. Then we get to the high powered rifle and this of course is a semi-automatic uh, 5.56. Most people these days, um, if they're buying a gun that they want to make them feel better, uh, we're selling an awful lot of ARs. I personally don't believe don't feel like this is the best choice for a house because we're talking about a high powered rifle cartridge and it's going to go through a lot of stuff so it will absolutely stop the fight um, and I shoot and hunt with these and enjoy shooting them and hunting them uh, this is for serious application and I think in the home uh, Again, it's a long gun. It's got a great capacity, 30 rounds, easy to load and unload. But for the home, if you're planning on using it in, inside, an AR might not be the best choice. It would certainly stop the round, but I would want someone to have a lot of training with one of these before they thought that they could use it um, to safely defend their home because you're going to increase risk if you're using a rifle that will go through all sorts of walls uh, before that bullet stops. So think about that when you're thinking about home defense. Shotguns, handguns, uh, high-powered rifles, they could all be used, but I think if we think about what the intended purpose of the firearm is and how we're going to use it, sometimes it's not the answer we start out with. So I hope that's helpful. As always, we look forward to training you at the store. Um, we are still open to the public in the store, only open to members in the range, but we look forward to seeing you up here. Y'all have a great week.